Hello YouTube. I was going to do a video on capacitors based on a bit of information that I thought to be correct that I'd never tested. But when I started to test it, I did not receive the information I thought I should have. Does that make sense? So, my question is, well, we'll start with this statement. If you take a 10 microfarad capacitor and you add a 10 microfarad capacitor and you parallel jumper wires between the two capacitors, you come up with 20 microfarad. What I thought I had heard a long time ago was that you could also um, run the capacitors in series and end up with a division of the capacitors as your final microfarad reading. In this case, what my assumption was that if you took a 15 microfarad capacitor and you jumped one leg of the 15 over to one leg of the seven and a half, or a seven and a half, that you would then end up with seven and a half microfarad. I tried what I ran into just a little while ago was actually a a rudd heat pump that needed a three microfarad condenser fan motor on the dual run and I did not have a dual run 30 by 3 and so I was trying to dumb down a 40 by 3 that I had down to 30 and I started off with the assumption like I'd said that if I added a 10 microfarad to the 40 um, in series, I would end up with 30. Obviously I was wrong or I wouldn't be shooting this video asking this question because when I paralleled the 40 and the 10, I came up with eight as in the number after seven and before nine. So I was going to see if you guys were aware of a constant reduction or a, a, a repeatable scenario where you could parallel capacitors and come up with a specific reading. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Try to help me out on this one. I, uh, I've paralleled capacitors for a long time and obviously never had a problem with that, but uh, this is the first time I tried to series and uh, it didn't work the way I was thinking to. So anyway, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you on the next one.